Welcome to Tech Primers. In this video, we are going to see what is predictive analytics and how is it different from data analytics and also we are going to see where we are using predictive analytics and where it can be used as well and also the technologies which are used by predictive analytics to come up with some design solutions. So what is this predictive analytics really, right? So predictive analytics is an area of statistics around capturing the relationship between explanatory variables and the predicted variables from the past occurrences and using it for prediction. So in simple words, right? So collecting all the past day occurrences of a data and then with that data, you come up with a relationship between the uh, objects and then you predict the future. So that is predictive analytics. So basically you have to collect a series of data uh, over a period of time and then you mine that data and then come up with some explanatory objects with which you can come up with some predictions saying okay this is what is going to happen so in real world entity right so if you see uh, uh, if you take horoscope prediction so it is something similar to the predictive analytics so how, how do they predict the um, um, future right so it's the same way so they see the past occurrences they collect the data they create relationship between the explanatory variables and the predicted variables and then they finally predict something so that that is uh, uh, very much a real-time example of uh, where predictive analytics is used so basically our horoscope prediction is a predictive analytics so what is used inside predictive analytics as I said earlier data mining and automatically discovering interesting patterns in the data and finally applying that to the unknowns in the past present and the future so there are different definitions of predictive analytics but uh, this is something um, uh, very basic right so you uh, it's like collecting the past occurrences you create some uh, data out of it and then you come up with some patterns to predict the future so that is in general the gist of what is predictive analytics finally the accuracy and the usability uh, vary upon the level of analysis and the quality of assumptions so same way right if you take the horoscope prediction so not all uh, horoscope predictions are like perfect so sometimes some some people say that okay uh, there are some variations so that is what uh, predictive analytics is all about there is accuracy and usability which can vary upon the level of analysis and the quality of assumptions we make so that is predictive analytics at a higher level so why do we need these predictive analytics techniques right so in order to improve our decision making abilities uh, by enabling learning from the past experience so in general what do we do so, so in your work life experience you uh, you would have uh, faced lots of experiences in your previous companies or previous job or previous uh, work right and then you try to improve based on that particular previous uh, experience right so that is what predictive analytics is used for so improving decisions making by enabling learning from the past experience okay so we as a human we are able to do predictive analytics um, <clears throat> by ourselves but uh, if you want to do something over a data you can't do that automatically so that is when this predictive analytic tools helps us in predicting the future okay also why why predictive analytics uh, is related to big data because there is too much of uh, data and too many variables are there uh, for us to manually analyze and use traditional statistic techniques right for example if you consider our data so we will be as a human we will be able to process whatever we did in our uh, due course of time right from our childhood however still we won't be able to process all the data which happened right so we can't remember all the instances throughout our lifetime uh, but still we will be able to uh, know only very few so but in case of data we want to analyze all the data and predict across all the possibilities so that is why uh, we need some big data technology to process that much amount of data because as, uh, our, our brain is not like big data system right so that is why we are creating big data solution so brain is not able to process that much so that is why we need uh, big data solution same way for real world entities you can't process that with the normal system so that is why we need a big data solution okay so that is that is the use of uh, um, predictive analytics in in today's world so how is it used today so how is predictive analytics used right so first is detecting the fraud so if you see the re recent ransomware um, um, uh, virus right so you would have seen uh, somebody hacked the system so there are uh, lots of uh, uh, fault uh, 
uh, or uh, what do you call security related uh, algorithms which, which will be running in uh, systems uh, for big companies so they identify okay if there is uh, going to be any fault or if there is going to be any failure and then it notifies the uh, users or the people who are monitoring so there you can use predictive analytics so you can uh, identify patterns of failures or patterns of uh, security violations or threats and based on that you can um, identify the failure or the fraud okay that is that is one use case the next one is predicting the sales and the inventory so you can predict whether a customer is going to buy your product or not same way you can predict your invest uh, inventory uh, let's say I, I have say, like 100 uh, kgs of sugar I'm going to sell more than 100 so I'll predict that okay I need to buy 100 more so that is another uh, predictive analytics mm. next one will be seek seeking profitable customers so identifying customers you can you can do uh, so let's say uh, Citibank right uh, Citibank can identify who are all profitable customers and they can uh, do some prediction over uh, that data and then that is a predictive analytics next one is anticipating customer churn so based on the customer information you can now anticipate the uh, customer churn based on the data the next one would be the direct marketing so based on your um, uh, product or the marketing strategy you do direct marketing so that is predictive analytics so how is uh, data analytics different from predictive analytics right now that you know what is predictive analytics so how is it different from data analytics so predictive analytics as you know uses data analytic techniques to predict so data analytics is nothing but uh, data mining information and creating statistics out of the data but predictive analysis is creating uh, reusable patterns or uh, learning from the patterns and identifying that okay uh, th this is how it works and this is what is going to happen so that is predictive analytics okay so in general there is a cycle in creating this pre uh, predictive analytics right so you uh, in general there is a cycle uh, associated with coming up with some predictive analytic solution based on some data so let's see what is the process cycle for that so first what do we need to do is we need to define clear objectives on what we are going to achieve so for example uh, let's take a use case um, for example production failures so we have a, a suite of applications deployed in production so we need to uh, identify failure or file delays into our system before it happens so let's consider this so this is an objective so you have to define an objective saying okay this is what I need to uh, come up with finally so next is data preparation so data preparation is nothing but so for my objective what are all the entities which we, which I need so for example in uh, let's say we have 50 applications deployed in production and my goal is to identify failures or file delays uh, in the application so now I need to prepare data so I need to collect information about all these 50 applications which are deployed in production how how are they uh, evolving so how how the files are coming in daily so what time does the file come daily uh, we need to collect all these data so that is the data preparation finally modeling so modeling is uh, what kind of data do I need uh, and what kind of data do I extract from that data whatever we prepared so identifying uh, the file incoming times and the outgoing times or something like that so let's say if you want to um, identify if the file is going to be delayed on a particular day we need to collect all the data regarding the file arrival time into our system in the previous um, cycles so that is that is how you model the data so you you're mo you have to model the data based on what you require so that is modeling finally you deploy that uh, design so whatever you have uh, modeled you have to deploy that into your production environment finally model monitoring so whatever we have deployed now we need to monitor for these kind of patterns and we need to predict so based on the uh, file uh, incoming arrival time and the outgoing time so our system should be able to monitor the um, file arrival time and, ad and identify that okay today this is going to be late or today there is going to be a delay or today the file came early and those kind of predictions should be um, identified so this is generally the life cycle or the cycle in, involved in uh, predictive analytics okay so what are the different methods to do predictive analytics right so uh, 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 at a high level if you see uh, I can just say predicting data but how many methods are there how, how are we going to identify 
how to predict each type of data because data as a set right it, it's so huge so you have geographical data you have like static data you have like real time data you have uh, sensor data so there, there are too much of data so how are we going to identify uh, and predict patterns so so that is when uh, predictive analytics methods come into picture so how, how how many methods are there that's what we are going to see now so how do we help how, how does the, those methods help us in identifying and creating predictive analytic patterns so the first one is regression so predicting the output variable using its cost effect relationship with input variables so there are lots of uh, regression um, uh, tools so for example OLS is nothing but ordinary least squares or the linear least squares so it's a method for uh, estimating unknown parameters in a linear regression model so this is one type of uh, uh, regression model or a methodology uh, the next one is GLM so GLM is a generalized linear model so that is another type of model same way random forest so random forest is a uh, is similar to the decision tree so you can uh, you can create decision trees basically you can create a structure saying okay if this happens do that if this happens do that so so you can branch out and uh, create decisions based on the condition so th that is and, and then finally it predicts so that that is that is how it works the random forest uh, next one is ANN ANN is nothing but artificial neural network so as you know artificial neural network is a computational model which is used in machine learning techniques and in the research um, uh, research area so which is based on a large collection of simple units which are called as artificial neurons so that is why that is uh, artificial neural networks so these are different types of uh, methodologies which comes under the regression so that is one type of methodology the next one is classification so classification is when you want to classify items or predict the item items based on a class so you can predict the items based on let's say geographical location or you have a, a inventory data or customer data so you just classify or classify them into a class so for that we use decision tree you can use logistic regression again you can use uh, artificial neural network then we can use uh, support vector machines so SVM is support vector, vector machines which is another machine learning technique uh, and then finally the Bayes, uh, Nave Bayes classification so if you had uh, uh, studied com uh, computer science and engineering you would have uh, heard about this uh, theorem, Bayes theorem or the Nave Bayes classification most of the time we wouldn't have read this subject because it was so complex but yeah now if you see uh, Kama is coming back right so you have to learn these to know what is predictive analytics and you have to know these to learn what is big data so uh, yeah neighbor name as you, as you know Bayes uh, theorem is something which is um, uh, which is having a which has a strong independent assumption between different features so that is that is the base theorem so that is one more uh, methodology so classification is one more methodology the next one is the uh, time series forecasting so predicting the future time events uh, given the past history so as I said earlier right so we took an example of file uh, files coming into production systems so predicting the future time uh, events given the past history so based on the past um, uh, arrival time of a file you can predict the future arrival time of a file so that is time series forecasting so example is uh, AR uh, and MA so MA is uh, moving average which uh, which gets the trends in the data data set so you, you can get the trends in uh, uh, the data arrival or uh, from that data so you can basically it's like a chart kind of thing so you can arrive at uh, uh, trends from that uh, data set so arima is nothing but automated uh, regression integrated moving average model so that is another type of uh, time forecasting technique uh, then uh, triple exponential smoothing or halt water halt winter um, um, so that is nothing but a forecast um, technique to get the data points for repetitive data set so if you have a repetitive data set then you can use that particular methodology so that is time series forecasting the next one is uh, association rule mining so if you want to mine items based on the uh, occurrences uh, which are together so then you can use that so you can basically create associations and then mine the data so so example the famous example is a priori algorithm so and which is an algorithm which is used for mining frequent item sets for uh, boolean association rules so and also a priori algorithm if you know it uses bottom-up approach for uh, data mining so I, th I think this uh, 
every other algorithm i remember reading it in a subject called data mining so at that time we we had all these uh, complex algorithms and we never used to wonder about what is it but now if you if i see it in my real world entity how i'm going to use these techniques in in my day to day uh, life but uh, it's it's amazing that we already use these techniques in our day to day lives and uh, we can see that for ourselves so these are the different uh, six different uh, methodologies uh, used in the predictive analysis so the next two the next two are clustering and the text mining so clustering is similar to um, how you uh, cluster your data or group your data basically and then you mine that data so for example k means hierarchical spectral density based um, algorithms can be used so the final one is the text mining so text mining is like you have a model and the structure information uh, in a textual format or textual source so you have literally text coming in and you need to read those texts and then come up with some statistical uh, data and create some predictive analytics so if you are aware about uh, natural language processing or sentiment analysis so that is the type of uh, uh, methodology which we will be using for text mine so those are the six methods uh, which we uh, which we use for analytics predictive analytics uh, finally the tools right so what are the tools which are available out there uh, which can create uh, or do predictive analytics for us so you would have heard all these tool names these are uh, uh, only a few subset there are lots of tools so tableau altrix Ma matlab apache mohot r rapid miner alpine data lab so these are some uh, some subset of uh, tools which we are um, using for predictive analytics but there are lots of uh, them out there but um, these are just the tools so that is predictive analytics and uh, that is how um, uh, you can relate predictive analytics to your real world entity or to your uh, work life where you want to use predictive analytics for solving a big data solution so hope that particular uh, uh, thing was helpful so hope you understood what is predictive analytics and uh, how you are using predictive analytics in your day to day life so that's it for this particular video so meet you again in the next video thank you